Good evening. Hello, Rick. How are you doing? Hello, everybody. I'm, I'm getting text. Should be important. It's not particularly important. But that was a good gif. <laughs> right. We were going to have... We were going to have Sci-Fi Sunday tomorrow at someone's house. JJ was like, you're coming over. I'm making some food. We're going to watch both Blade Runners. And I'm like, cool. Um, and now Amy has finally gotten COVID. And she works in healthcare. And her partner, Seb's, had it twice. There are things you could do without them happening, but such is life. Oof. Oof. Well, I hope that they are generally minor, not too life... Um, I was going to say life-threatening, which... I mean, I hope they're not life-threatening. But I hope, <laughs> hope they're also not massive inconveniences. And that we can play some silly video games and give you a distraction. And get distracted by this ridiculous cat. Hello, Ray. How are you? No, you don't eat... Those are muffins. I eat muffins. You don't eat muffins. He's... No respect. You have no respect. Do you? You don't have any respect for me. For my things. <laughs> Somehow... Somehow you're meant to reveal God's majesty, but instead you're just God's perfect idiot. That is right, I would be glad to find out. Oh, of course. Busy time for Ray. But Fridays, yeah. Yeah, the walkthrough and standby. Thank you very much, Rick. Hello, Kira. Yes. He is a disrespectful feline. Aren't you? No concept of respect. Uh, he has, forgive me, obviously, yesterday was, um, yesterday was flea treatment day. So, they're upset with me. For, you know, reasons. Obvious enough reasons. Hey, you go back there for a bit. I'm not watching you at the moment. So you go there. <clears throat> Spreadsheet chaos is upon you. This is what I have to live with. Just pushing the microphone up my nose. You don't get to push things up my nose. Only my dealer gets to do that. It's a joke, by the way. If any police are watching. If there are any police watching, like, you have to tell us in chat. That's like the law or something. It's not, is it? Nose push. Indeed. Yes. <sighs> Jail for dad for the flea treatment. Yes. Jail for a thousand years until I feed him. Hello, Kathy. How are you doing? Hope you're feeling better. Orko's looking quite ginger today. Are you... Have you been, like, running around paint factories or something? What are you doing? <laughs> Some good nut tats there, Rick. Good nut tats. Right. Well, Orko may be uh, looking a little ginger. I might be feeling a little ginger. I don't think I'm feeling a little ginger. I'm feeling... I, I mean, I had a big poo, but... I'm feeling all right. As long as I remain sat, it'll be fine. Right. Just got the ink on the thing you're working on. Just to be out dinner when you saw the notification. Ah, oh. As per usual, I'm interrupting everyone's dinner. Because any second now, Rick's going to be like, mm, yeah, I better go put dinner on, actually. 
<clears throat> right. Here we are. Have we got a thing in our head now? Is that where we left yesterday? Have we got a thing in our head? Did we... I've forgotten the, the puzzle thing. Dinner TV. Um... We were we were sat in a chair there. Have we got a hole in our head now? Shreveman Park, that's it. Kira brought us tasty chippy oh chippy chippy tea. Vegan battered sausage, wow. Excuse me. Okay, so we have got the treatment port. I forgot how we solved that problem. Or did we just keep asking him? He took our balls. He will take our balls. That was it. He'll take... Oh, I, I thought we still had to... Well, maybe we still have to get that deep naked. Anyway. Um, yes, we have matrix plugs in, in our noggin. And yes, we, we miss Taffy getting dick pics live on stream. Which is, wow. <clears throat> Gaffy's just like, ha, I don't have any balls to be taken. Right. Let's, let's talk. We've got plenty to talk with. Your receptionist certainly is strange. That's my wife you're talking about. Oof. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we read. She died last year. But I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. Oh, fuck you, Burke. That's just some bullshit right there. That's, I was about to say, oh, I like that Black Mirror episode. But it's even worse. Even worse. Cheeky banhammer in the lunch break. Just... Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend, Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. Uh, oh. Billiam, then. Sexist doctor in the sci-fi. Sure, he just walked past the window again. What? You're still getting dick pics. <laughs> Sorry, I know Shorty is a cat. Must know there's a stream on. Is this it? Do cats, like, are they communicating telepathically? Someone's streaming, you might get treats. I've had a bad knock on the head. Any after effects? Yeah, pain. Impairment of vision? I keep seeing flying saucers. Any dizziness? Yeah, I can hardly stand. You know, I get exactly the same myself. I wish I knew what causes it. Oh, thanks. Dizzy, my head is spinning. Like DJ streaming. Tell all good stuff. Pass it on. Through catnet. Like cats have their own ethernet and it uses cat five cabling. Yeah, no, never mind. Look, look at that, look at that, Samson just sliding in. That's a good slide. Good slide, Samson. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you. I love the fact that they gave uh, one script to the voice actors and another script to the coders. That was a tech joke. Okay. Let, let's talk to... Can we talk to the man? Talk to the man. No, nothing more to say to him. I have to, to go now. Drop by again sometime. <laughs> the man who's very cheerily having some sort of open chest surgery. Right, at least we know what to do. We can go and see Billiam. 
Oh, Triple H knows. Time to play the game. It's all about the game and the game. Oh, Never mind. Patooties. Shall we talk to this person again? We'll wish we hadn't. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to keep walking. Maybe the robot will catch up. Now that we've got a hole in our head, our Shreveman port, do we have any new appreciation for art? I'm going to guess no. If that's art, I must be missing something. Parts of your skull, that's for sure. Where's our bloody robot? It's so slow. There he is. Right, Billiam. <laughs> the fuck's our bloody robot? I want one of your special policies. The special stuff, eh? Hello, hi, Orky. I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Dr. Burke. The ghoul, huh? He is cool. <laughs> so, how can I help you? Can you get me out of the city? It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? That's a delicate <laughs> subject. <laughs> wait kind here. of a good job. I have Joe. to make a call. Oh, wait. He's leaving the room. He's leaving the room. Joey, Joey, Joey. Quick, get the anchor. Get that anchor while he's away. And hurry before the jerk gets back. Anchors away. Right, anchor. Right, I can't click on anything, Joey. Never mind. Never mind. Can can I pick up the anchor right now? Right, he's back anyway. He's back. <laughs> Sounds like what you had to ask for at uni if you wanted the anal safe free condoms, the special pack. Ah, right. I see. Any luck with your contact? Security have put a hold on comms. Seems there's a saboteur on the loose. Who's asking to be let out of... Oh, yeah, have you not... Why do people not put two and two together? Hello, stranger, who's asking to leave the city in mysterious circumstances? Oh, well, I would help you, but apparently there's a saboteur on the loose. Could you try your contact again? I suppose so. Wait here. Right. We now have an anchor. Thank you, Orko. Sabotage the anchor statue. You'd be amazed at what he pays for his malpractice insurance. Orko's helping. Yep. Never mind. I'm, I'm going to have a little snack. He just comes back. He is, of course, no help. But we did get him away from his desk and steal an anchor. No, these, these are chocolate muffins. They're not for kitties. They're for Ralph. See, I'm so hungry. I'm outing myself. Right. Yes. See? I knew we had to make a grappling hook. 
Dox yourself with chocolate muffins. <laughs> I mean, most of you all know what my shoot name is. But, thank you for helping keep up the pretense. <clears throat> Which, of course, given that some of you do know my shoot name. Hello, Queeks. How are you doing? Ears were popping. Ears, ears. <laughs> um, that meme that was doing around on Twitter of, like, could you fight the famous people who have the same first name as you? I reckon, like, for my shoot name, probably most of them... But I reckon one of them, you know, the most famous one. Um, not that one. The 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 acting one. Um, he's probably a bit tasty, right? He's probably a bit tasty. In fact, that might be a bit tricky. Whereas, when it comes to famous DJs, then um, I mean, put against Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and. Pff, I haven't, I haven't got the I have got the pull to uh, to book myself to win that. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy, for continuing to play ignorant. Bless you all. Right. Um, only famous Kathy you think it was Kathy. Oh, Kathy Burke. Yeah, she should be a bit tasty though. Oh, Kathy Bates. Or a few rays. Oh, what's his face? Always in the gangster movies. And the gambling ads. He's probably a bit tasty. <laughs> Queeks is just gonna <laughs> just <laughs> all, all the Queeks is ganging up on Shapiro's. <laughs> we'll check him out. Ray Winston, thank you, Ray. Right. Are we going to? Thing is, like, what do you fix it to? Out and I've got a feeling we might have to use some modern art. Where would you use a grappling hook? I mean, on a wall, but what I'm wondering is... Will it fit? Will it fix to some modern art? Because it's got holes in it. No. What's the most annoying thing a game can make me do with it? Um, not use it to climb down... Somewhere where there's a door, I haven't been able to get past them. You go in the back way. Queeks is really dropping the very obvious. I wouldn't just start the stream, Queeks. So here's a door I haven't been able to get past. I don't think it's going to be this, though, is it? In order to go... Oh, God, it's not from the other side is it yes bop them on the nose with the newspaper Oh no, I can't I can't use it from here. It's unclickable. So <laughs> all those wild accidents being too strong a hint this barely made me flounder less. Was it top five because Winston's number seven on the list? Oh wow, there's a lot more rays, huh? 
Well, I mean, the other door I haven't been able to get past is the uh, reactor door. Let's, let's at least use our ID card. Ray Charles is number one. He's dead. So that's an easy win. It's also a bit of an easy win. Because he's blind. I mean, you could like... That's just a cruel, cruel fight. Come on, Joey. Although, if he shakes his tail feather, he could fuck you up. Trust him! Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, baby! It's a computer terminal. It is a computer with the terminal. Word link on it. Such a past. Let's at least go and chat up that the only woman in the game. Because now we've got a hole in our head. Maybe. I've got the Shreedman port. Brilliant. How did you manage that? I had a trade with the doctor. I hope he didn't rip you off. No comment. <laughs> to be honest, I quite like these ball gags. See you later. That is to say... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> to the clip! I quite like these ball gags, said nobody wearing ball gag. I know, because it would be more like... <laughs> the fucking look Orko just gave me there. <laughs> you all right, Dad? I'm fine. <clears throat> right. Talking of. <laughs> Boom, right, so there's a big metal door. It's a huge metal door. Go on. Nope. All I all I really know is that the cable was meant to take be able to take my weight. So presumably I, I can crawl climb down. An admission. Thank you, Queeks. I'm gonna raid on someone's stream and they'll do like a video shout out clip because I'm like, yeah, I don't like video shout out clips and it'll choose the most recent one because it's got one from today. And it'll be an admission. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. No, well, there's still someone here at the wreckage. Oh, hmm, hmm, wait, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. Maybe we're going up to go down. Right, 
good. You all take the stash. Right, I don't know why we just had a weird save icon. I don't know if it did an auto save there, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to put a save in, because any second now. Right, so here we are. High above the world. Probably going up to go down. This could be the most stupid thing I've ever done. What's the most annoying thing the game do? Send you back to the beginning. Right. We All to get in here. Fine. And now we don't have a grappling hook anymore. Fine. Fine. At, yeah, at the very least, they could have recorded him going, Wee! Alrighty, let's have a look. We're in a locker room. Maybe we'll find a megaphone. Lovecraft's locker. It's locked. No name on this one. It's locked. Belongs to someone called Goddard. It's locked. Ultar, written in crayon. <laughs> it's locked. Reich. It's locked. Maybe we can use our ID card. What? Reich. Reich. Oh, Reich. Belongs to someone called Cole. It's locked. Right, okay, what else have we got? We got a wrench. Nope. We got a metal bar. Nope. <clears throat> Good off to the dead for not playing it slow mo because it was animated. <laughs> we have got our rope back. This is good. I do have a helpful kit. He's sitting over there. He's sulking for a minute. Um, well, elevator door, a terminal, a scanner, an interface. Maybe I should interface it's the with link him. interface. And I don't like the look of it at all. Well, that's why we got a hole in our head. Well, we're not interfacing with anything today. Right, anything new? Anchor insurance, advert, fine. Why is Betty the centre of attraction? She's wearing the latest in fashion. Bakelite lips supplied and fitted. <laughs> the club in the park, St. James. When you get there, you'll know you've arrived. St. James Club. Suspicious of your neighbours? Turn your paranoia to hard cash. Contact Neighbourhood Watch. Uh, we've seen the map for a surgery. That's fine. Maybe we saw all those things. Yeah, no, no, no. Three. Three. Oh, no. Why is it called an interface when it's into skull? Good question. 
Uh, have we read this? Hobart Looney's acid again. It's been confirmed that the induction, uh, introduction of mystery virus into Link was the work of left-wing activists from Hobart City. Um, I think so. Uh, hang on. Did we have we seen these? Next page nine. Property theft figures saw forcing rationing. Judge comes down on youth. I mean, they usually do. Recycled produce. Grim finding recycling plants. They know Reich is dead. Yet I'm still using his card. Can I read the documents yet? Nope. Nope. Are there special operations to anyone? Nope. They chase stuck in pizza menus. <laughs> Be vigilant. The world needs lunch. Right. So I've got an interface, and I can sit in it, but I don't seem to be able to do anything with it. We've got rights locker. It might be, it could be a used card thing. Are you auto saving now? Let's see if I've missed anything else here. Ah, locker has slot. But you, it's hard to see the slot. Right. This is very much a pixel hunt. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, yep, wait, yep, wait, yep, yep. I heard a little click. <clears throat> Nothing in here but some bottles. Okay. That's it. Nothing but some bottles. <clears throat> Kathy stuck in pizza eating. Nothing's happened. Just gonna try it in everyone's. Nothing's happened. You never know. You, when you might get lucky. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. So the only one is Reich's locker. Altar, written in... Reich. Reich. Which I can open, and then there's nothing in there except for bottles. And they're not even clickable. So... Ah, there's a slot next to the interface. There we go. Now, <laughs> well, now we're strapping. Strapping uh, Dr. Manhattan-esque figures in cyberspace. File, oh no, sorry, don't deny it. File and read data format, unrecognized. Oh no, well that's, that's terrible, isn't it? Still. Carswell Sentinel. For security use only, engineers should revert to program manual IC4 before test or deletion. And a tuning fork. 
which we can't seem to reach. Okay, so what do we got here? We got info. No info on the tuning fork. Disconnect. Open. Document. Caron. Compress data. Document. Open. Document. Open. Eyeball. Tune fork. Yes, we have a separate. But we don't get to seem to be able to. Right, info, document, briefing doc, text file. Open, document, document, document. Document, compressed data, document. Caron, document, no. Document, open, no. Open, info. System command, okay, to access folders, fine. Info, document. The, these are the corrupt files. Compressed data, unknown. Info Caron to override system long security. Please distribute freely. Hi to Rue, Pob, and Ian. Okay, cool. So use Caron with the eyeball. No, there's a tuning fork that I cannot reach. What happened to the ball? Was the ball no, that was the compressed that state. Work. Thank you, Ray. If I use the carrot on the compressed data, and the compressed data on the eyeball, no. <clears throat> Is the tuning fork a coding gag? Because you fork code. Maybe explore some, what other rooms? Oh yeah, ha ha ha, there, there is an exit. That's what the shiny thing is. An exit. By being watched. Carpet back. Open carpet bag. Info on the magnifying glass. Quick decrypt. Okay, a decryption routine. We'll have that. Birthday surprise. Decompress. Okay, decompress, compress data. Hey, password, password. Um, oh, yeah, we could try the document with the magnifying glass. Yes, hello, Orko. Did you do something? Open the document. I don't know. Right, well. Info, yes. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, now I've got the magnifying glass now.
open document no info document no or is this something now where if I disconnect I should now be able to hello art We found our way into cyberspace and we've just decrypted some documents. Hopefully. Aha! Now we can read things! Shot. Briefing dot doc. Remember when cyberspace was going to look like this? I know. And it had Craig Charles um, trying to be all hype. Oh, bit of packets there for a second. Bit of packets. We're with you again, though. Not sure whether we dodged a bullet and missed out big time. I mean, this is the thing. Facebook and Meta are trying to do it, aren't they? I don't know. I've not. I've not been in any sort of Meta-related thing. I don't. I don't like VR. I I have a lack of coordination in the real world. Don't feed me like imaginary stuff. I will definitely fall over in the real world. Anyway, we're reading the briefing. Dot doc. Special operative for Reich. Subject, Oveman R. Mother Ref. Maria, native of Hobart. Removed child in bid to defect back to Hobart. Flight terminated in Gap. No infant remains found at crash site. Search all Gap dweller camps and area. Return Overman to Link at all costs. Subject has assumed, assumed the name of Foster. Wear Overman? <sighs> no authority on record for increased status and promotion supervisor. Unlawful intrusion suspected. Action. Level 3 surveillance. Oh, for Lamb. No authority on... Oh, so Lamb was... Do Lamb's dodgy as well. Well... Well, 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 well. So. We are, in fact, Overman. And Lamb's dodgy as fuck. All right. So my real name is Robert Overman. But why does Link want me? And what's happened to my father? Father! Right, well, let, let's go back to cyberspace. All right, let's check out special operations then. Patootie, 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 patootie. Yes, we've still got some patooties about. Hello, Meowster. How you doing? Special operations. Well, yeah, we've already wiped out Gilbert stuff. So nothing new there. All right, wait, all right, yep, yep, yep. Captain surgery, so you're going to vibe, so you're going to pick her up. All righty. Did you? No. So, better explain to me, Ouster, what, what the Dream Daddy nonsense is. I don't even own Dream Daddy. Um, maybe one day. Uh, mission TNA is in full swing. Alrighty. Um, uh, I thought that... 
the game appeared to be signalling to us in the last stream that in order to get a Schreibman port, a hole in the head that allows us to interface with the computer like this, we would have to hand in a lung or a kidney. And the doctor was like, oh, you're far too healthy. So I thought that we had to get some sort of radiation poisoning. But we can't just open the reactor door. We died. So presumably we need to, like, wear a suit and just get just a little bit of radiation, just a little bit of radiation poisoning, just as a treat. So I thought we had to strip this dude of his radiation suit. Turns out what we actually had to do was ask for a third time and go, fine, you can have our testicles. And ever since, that we've been making lots of testicle-related uh, jokes. Or, as I called them earlier, ball gags. <clears throat> um, but yeah, thanks for popping in. Uh, hope Cappy's doing well and uh, is in a good, safe pair of hands and not the quack surgeon that we were just uh, with. Anyway, many ball gags to be had. I quite like the ball gags. We've already clipped that. Whoop. Oh, we've been booted out. Not you, Kathy. Kathy I was talking about. And also, balls. Pew. Right, so, we can't go through that door. Can we go through this door? Yes, we can. Oh, this looks like maybe an annoying puzzle. Does this this mean passwords? Yes, it does. Um, oh, th this looks like a weird puzzle. We're, we're out of passwords. We can't get over there. Fine, fine. Right, we need to, we need to think about this kind of logically, I guess. God help us. So we pick up that password, right, okay, and we'll, we'll go back here, and we'll pick up that password, okay, so, what happens if we use the red password here? What happens if we use the green password here? Either one moves us forward, now I think we used the green password first time, so let's use the red password then move forward and then we can try the green password so both of these still open up the same places and now I've locked us out from there Sure, we can get it back in a second. Okay. This, yeah, this has a, a path down to here, so I can pick that up again. I mean, every which way but over here, huh? But if that's opened up some more, maybe, 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 maybe. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, yeah, we we still got some paths. We still we can still go. Yeah, 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 yeah. But look, we can get to this bottom node. And what happens if we try and use the password in here? Yeah. There we go. We found a bust. The Phoenix program. And a book. Phoenix.doc, a text file. Okay. Decrypt the text file? Sure. Um, uh, I'm guessing we're going to have to exit to read the document about what the Phoenix program is. So I feel like we should probably at least pick up these decryptor keys. I mean, we're probably fine, but also... And now we're stuck, but maybe we can use this one again. This is quite an this is quite a good puzzle. I quite like this puzzle. I mean we maybe we don't need these again, but you know, I'm just gonna do them just to be sure. I think if we if we pick that up, oh no, we can still walk down here, and then we can still use it here to go over here. I know I can disconnect anywhere, but I just want to make sure that I've got my password programs in my inventory. Pew. Right. Having used cyberspace, let's just go and use a text-based terminal again. Because that's how this game works. Alright, security services. Retina scan process. View documents. Phoenix.doc. Another. Another one for Reich. Don't forget your password programs. Special Operative Reich. Subject, status clearance. The bearer is authorized to utilize Phoenix status override in the course of investigations. Special Security Services. Okay. We've got a Phoenix override, whatever that might be. Maybe it's a thing that'll work for these scanners. Because that's our only way out of here. But... Cops hack. Thank you, Ray. We will, uh, get a cheeky saving. Session five. Session five. Save that. Right. Clear up a little bit of space. Cup Shack Baby! Cup Shack Baby! Hello, Snarf. I didn't even have to call you. You, like, timed this. You're like, hmm, it's be he's been talking to himself for about an hour. Surely, surely now must be the time. And you're right, Snarf. You're right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't already know, and I'm pretty sure most of you do, um, uh, you can use your channel points to give my lovely lads some treats. Um, Snarf knows when the tune is going to show up. I reckon. Have you been using the secret psychic communication network that the cats use, Blarry? Well, I don't, don't know what you're talking about, mate. No, I, I don't do, do anything like that. Pichaki, 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 pichaki. Blarry is lying. I'm not lying, man. Yeah. You call me a liar, I'll fucking have you. Ah! But it'll fall off first. Ah! You can't trust Black. Have you been drinking? A uh, little. I'm a fish. Stay. Stay. There we go. Everyone's saying hi. The Cat Whisper Network just made you from shorty and not him. There we go. All right. Press the Cat Cam button. Oh, lads. Oh, lads. I'm such a tease to Orko. Right, there you go, there you go, Orko. Oh, there you go, Snarf. There's, there's one for Orko, man. But, oh. That's where you all go. Let's <clears throat> try and get cut snarf on camera. <laughs> I need to get better camera fixings, obviously. Gonna have cat hair in my muffins, probably. Everything tastes better with cat hair. That's like a fact. You having fun, Orko? Snarf is. Snarf's wolfing them down. Snarf really loves the tuna. Weeks. Right, Orca appears to have finished first. And Staff, how are you doing down there? Think, I think. It's a Snarf win. It's a Snarf win. Hi. Yeah, kissy. Well, we'll leave that one be. That's it. It's, oh, blimey, snaps. You know, right, let's just drool everywhere. This hoodie's relatively clean, so I use a tissue today. Oh, missed. Totally missed. Never mind. Orca boop. We've lost, yeah, cat butt has disappeared somewhat slightly. I'm sorry about that. Maybe we can do something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I gotta try and work out. Oh, my. oh, NASA Attack is here. Hi, Nas. How you doing? Welcome in. How are you on this fine Friday in your time zone? Hopefully, getting towards the end of your day. Uh, right. Um, Queek said a thought. Give some time for you to leave for face zappies. Nice. Zappies. Pew, 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 pew. Thank you for giving us a shout out. Um, One day I'll set up so we can do the video clip shout outs and then everyone can see the joy that is um Nas going sex 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 
Love a good face laser. What? <laughs> Was that one of the characters in Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> um, test that tomorrow for Kira. Nice. Right, so we've got a Phoenix program. Now we've got a Phoenix program. Can we use it on an eyeball? No. Can we use it on an exit? No. But... Oh, electrolysis. Hand zappies. <laughs> Hand curated zappies. Uh, so Queets want to know if the Phoenix program small bit of face torture is a treat appeared uh, in here would it be under security services retina scanning process would it be under special operations special status request Authority granted for temporary enhancement of link status. Agent granted access to all sectors. Duration 48 hours. Nice. That's better. Right now. I still want to get this. I still want to know what the tuning fork is. One of the better parts of the week. <laughs> Face torture. Best part of the week. Right, so if we've been granted special enhanced access. A little bit of physical pain to reduce the old dysphoria. Yeah. Temporary ouchies. Full of... You prick! I... D mm. Fine. 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 Access. Access granted. Yes. Right. Right, lads. You weren't expecting to see me come out of that door, were you? Ha <laughs> ha! Find your first session electro less painful than laser at its worst. Ooh. This one isn't even LucasArts, but hey, uh, if you are into the retro point and clicks, we've played a few games by Wadget Eye Games uh, as a publisher. They've um, and they've got quite a few on the Steam sale for like one and two quid for some of them. You know they're not. Always brilliant, but um, often the puzzles are fine. Um, so, uh, so it might be worth checking out. So in the upper lip that hurts a lot, everyone else is bearable. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's a, weird, it's a weird bit of flesh in the upper lip. I couldn't imagine it hurting. I mean, you know, I just don't bother shaving. It's much easier. We almost... We almost shaved my face on the weekend. I was wondering what to do as rewards for all the wonderful donations that you all made. Uh, we smashed the goal. Get in. Um, so, yeah, I, I was thinking, you know, last time I did a charity stream and people made donations, I was just like, you want to you shave a bit of my face off? We just shaved off little inches here and there of my face. Uh, until I looked like a weird troll doll. And then, obviously, I had to shave the rest off. Next charity soon, not to shave my beard, sending me to laser. No. You, I keep the beard to hide the extra chins. You can't laser it all off. I'd rather eat cat biscuits. And we've already discussed that that's a boundary. <laughs> Anyway, we can go anywhere we please. Where do we want to go? Out.
Hello, Joey. Our faithful robot friend. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Boundaries, lasers to the face and cat biscuits. Yes. Right, let's hey, let's talk. Lamb. We know you're dodgy as fuck. See ah. you later. Hot tub stream? Oh, God, no. Come on, Joey. Well, I did throw Meowster a suggestion. Um, for the next fundraiser oh look there's a new lift a new lift why isn't the robot coming oh, oh. no joey must have forgotten he'd changed shells oh uh, joey you i buffoon. hope his board isn't broken Oh no, we've ruined our robot again. Right. You can't even bathe the lads. No, no, no hot tub streams. No, right. I, I mentioned it in, in on Discord DMs. Um, right, next time we do a big stream -thon, my suggestion, Meowster, and uh, anyone else who's up for it, is that we do a tabletop roleplay session uh, of one of the tabletop roleplay games that I have, the world worldwide wrestling roleplay game, I reckon we do the Gender Wrestling Federation, um, and you all can be wacky wrestlers, and we'll we'll have a we'll have a look, we'll put on a little roleplay wrestling show. You know, cut promos. Do a drop down. Do a drop down. Do a drop down. Oh, Nass. Oh, Nass is there. Nass is in it. I'm the trash man. Oh, yes. Oh, it's yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Delightfully silly. Um, I, I, I see Nass is down for it. With a bit of the old new generation stuff. Duke the Dumpster Drozy. Ever said to make it all. Oh, Always Sunny. Oh, yes. You know what? I've never watched Always Sunny. I am aware. I've seen like the, the pictures, obviously, of Danny DeVito in the in the stuff. Cat Attack. Nice. Like it. Uh, there, there was a period in the mid nineties um, after after the steroid trial. Uh, after a period in in a period where uh, basically the big beefcake guys like Hulk Hogan et al had to like you know just, just, I mean Hulk Hogan was going to Hollywood anyway um, and then went to WCW but like they they couldn't really be seen having the big roidy roidy magoos so like they had the new generation of younger sleeker more athletic stars like Shawn Michaels Bret Hart and all that but they also did the thing of let's have people. Who, for whom wrestling is a side gig. These superstars, superstars of wrestling, but who also have to have other jobs. Uh, obviously, the classic one being The Undertaker, um, who was uh, also uh, undead and a wizard and a cult leader and sometimes a biker. Um, but you had IRS... Erwin R. Shyster, because obviously WWF isn't subtle in any way. He 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 was a tax collector, so everyone booed him. <laughs> and you had Isaac Yankum, DMD. Uh, he was a dentist. Um, you might know him as Kane or um, the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee, Glenn Jacobs. 
Um, and there was Duke the Dumpster Drozy. He was a garbage man, as in he, he drove a garbage truck, he refuse collection. Not, I mean, he probably was a gar. He was a wrestler. Most of them are garbage men. Um, but it got to the point where they even showed him, like, he slept in his garbage truck. Wrestling. It's wild and weird. Um, Meowster wants to be the purple person, which could be cool. Anyway, I talked about wrestling. I get to press the button. Is that really a greeting for a champion? Yeah, I'm press pressing the button. I get. I talk about wrestling. I get to press the button. A chicken. There you go. Have a chicken just to make up for it. <clears throat> there we. There we go. Press the button. Right. It's too heavy to carry. The bunch of junk. I ought to move that trash. Right. Have we? Have we got? We got Joey's card. That's the important thing. Okay. Well, there's a puzzle. It's pivoted in the middle, like a seesaw. In case you didn't realize. Yeah, a chicken. A chicken. Come up with a fun wrestling mod name. The Moderator. Um... Oh, doggo. Can we pet the doggo? Can we pet the dog? No. But here's the second woman in the game. Excuse me. Hello, darling. Oh, God. I don't believe we've met. Oh, no. no I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Piermont. But you can call me Danielle. Great. Mullet, yeah, so what could be hang on, actually. We got I've, I've got some charts. Still yeah, still failing the Bechtel test. Third if we can't be undead receptionist. Hmm. True. Uh documents. Uh TTRPG. Worldwide Wrestling Second Edition. Uh, um reference sheets. Um, roll, uh, <clears throat> first off, right, um, it, if, if you want, want something, they got some dice tables here we can do. Uh, we sh uh, I think exclamation mark roll, um, should uh, do stuff. So roll 1d3. Uh, to determine if we go for territory, attitude, or reality era. Are we rolling? There you go. You rolled a one. Territory era. All right. So, so this will be something more akin to the, the 70s or the 80s. All right. Now roll... Um, Two D sixes. Chat lag. Confidence is the habitual prefer of what is known as chat lag. A four and a six. Okay, so a four gets you. A name type, so for a name type, foreign, um, so <laughs> make of that what you will, um, and then for a moniker, you rolled a six, which is gorgeous, uh, so you could be gorgeous Raimondo Modifico, if you wish. Don't have to, but there you go. Oh, we're, we're playing. We're not doing wrestling. But if anyone else wants a wrestling name, 
roll a d3 and then 2d6. Foreign equals race. I mean, generally, like the territory days is just like, oh, you're foreign? Boo! USA good, everyone else bad. Boo! Even in the UK, except it would be USA bad, and everyone else good. And yes, they would often be racist stereotypes. Oh, art's after one. Okay, art, art also a territory style name. And a one and a four. Okay. A one means that you can choose a generic name, so that that'll probably just be like Art Vanguard. Uh, but four, Art Killer Vanguard. You can be a killer. Hell yeah. <laughs> Killer Art Vanguard versus Gorgeous Raimondo Moderato. No, no, that hell yeah is Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's Attitude Era. If you think we're going to do territory stuff, give me a hell yeah. That's my best attempt at a Texan accent. I'm shutting up now. Anyway, let, let's... Let's ask someone how to get out of the city when there's a saboteur on the loose, eh? How do I get out of the city? Now, why would you want to do that? There's nothing in the gap but sand and savages. But that's where I live. Oh, how ghastly for you, my dear. Art Killer is the name with a rage or interpretation. Oh, wow, yes. What's the mutt's name? Well, really? He is not a mutt. His name is Spunky. Spunky! Spunky the dog! Um, are we going to insult her or just carry on insulting the dog? Yes, Spunky the dog. Has he got fleas, or does he look like his owner? Um, I'm going... Is this like a butter jort situation? Anyway, I'm going to say that it looks like he's got fleas. He looks like he's got fleas. He has millions of them. But he's allergic to the flea powder. Why don't you give him a good bath? Oh, I've tried, but he can't bear to get wet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I foresee a plank-based seesaw dog bath situation, maybe. And yes, talk about how you're outside while the cop is standing right there. Shh. <laughs> Spunk swim. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why? Are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. Sabotage. My mother was killed, but I survived. And I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If there's any way I can help you, just ask. Wow, she's fantastically believing as well. Um, and yes, there have been very few minorities uh, for the cops to harass, so... It, this game has been kind of white. To be fair, I mean, this is our second real woman. Never mind. So, um, yeah. Anyway, there's an exit. There's a guard. There's an exit there. Bricks. 
I mean, do we? Far too heavy to lift. Yeah. This. <sighs> Kids, don't do this. But we're going to talk to a cop. What's through that door? It's off limits to the likes of you. I just wondered where it leads. It's the old cathedral. There's nothing interesting in there. In fact, it's empty. Of course he has to put an extra H on empty. Yeah, so there's one lady in the factory. There's a hologram lady who's dead. And uh, there's uh, Mrs. Hoity Toity over there. Why guard an empty cathedral? I'm not guarding it exactly. I'm just standing here. Preventing me from entering. Yes. Ah. I see we found a Nobby Nobs. Do you know the woman with the dog? Oh, yes. That's Mrs. Piermont. The richest woman in Union City. And the ugliest. Wow. Just let those opinions out, her huh, fella. Like, I mean, we could have judged the last bit for ourselves. Knowing that someone is rich is not necessarily something that, uh, you know, unless they go, I'm the richest person in the city, you know, and flash a watch of cash at you. Um, but really... Commenting in someone's looks is A, rude, um, and B, I could probably tell that for myself. If I cared about these things. Bet there's no line about any of the men being the ugliest man in the city. Yeah, right? Once we're finished with this guard. What's the best way out of the city? There isn't a way out. Then the inhabitants are no better than prisoners. That's the price of progress. <laughs> oh, from my Never arm. mind. They might be mini muffins, but they still take time to eat. It's too heavy to carry. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. The big guy's sacks are spilling their contents. They're not even being subtle about it now, are they? You wouldn't rush a muffin. It's a little man carrying a log. This is what the game's devolved into now, isn't it? Knob gags. And on that note, time for Nas to disappear. You're on later. All right, maybe we'll catch you later. Have fun. Hey, a little boss Nas impression for you. Look after yourself, Nas. Knob gags. Shut tight. Doors are unremarkable, but this one has a certain je ne sais pas. Okay, sure. Right, are we are we walking anywhere? I'm walking here to talk to the doorman. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please. I don't have one. Of course, he's a sneaky this Frenchman. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. <laughs> and thank you for shouting Nass out again. Good time for Nass. I'll do the slash to ones on mobile. Uh, okay, cool. And I'll... 
Ah, no. There you go. Um. Anyway, snobby French doorman. Peace off. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. You mean people with money? No, people with <laughs> credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. Interesting. What goes on in the club? If I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. You just said it was exclusive. Oh, it is exclusive, but uh, seedy. Sounds like my kind of place. The reason people come here is the cheap booze. And the fact that it's off limits to security. Smart shoes. Oh, thanks. You can tell a lot from a man's shoes. The design tells you what kind of man he is. The way he cares for them tells you where he's going. And what he's trodden in tells you where he's been. Nice, nice little philosophy there. Um, so, uh, my shoes t probably tell you that i um, bit of a wacky, wacky fella, but also falling apart. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? Mm, what about old widow Piermont? She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. See you later. So I'm either going to chat her up or set things up so that her dog starts freaking out and I'll save the dog and be the savior of the day. Excuse me. Let, let's try chatting her up. God, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? Would you sponsor me for the club? If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. But I don't want to visit the club. I'll call the manager from my apartment. Oh, well, there we go. That wasn't hard. Thought that might have been a lot trickier. <laughs> All right, what's going on over the other side? Oh, come to mummy, Spunky. Oh, come to mummy, Spunky. We're fucking sound clipping that. Goodbye, glitter attack. attack. We're having come to mummy, Spunky. You've all gone really quiet. Are you still processing that? I think everyone's brains just broke. Yep, everyone's brain is broken. Right, let's let's talk to the body <laughs> queeks. Yep, no, nope, no. Nope. Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent. What's yours? I'm Robert. You can call me Rob. Why aren't you at school, Vincent? My tutor's malfunctioned. I've tried to reprogram it to play video games. Would you like me to repair your tutor? Ah, oh, I can do that myself. But then I'd have to go back to my studies. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant psychos with your flamethrower. 
and stopped Aunt Amantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I'll play better. Biting satire of mid-90s games. <laughs> you took to that new name pretty fast. No, he's always been called Robert. Um... <laughs> Everyone's still slightly broken there. What other games have you got? Not many, because they're too expensive. They're smuggled into the city for Mobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game. Onan, the Barbarian. <laughs> and Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. Onan, oh, oh no. I suppose they keep you out of mischief. Do you know a man called Overman? No, Rob. Why do you want to know? He's my dad. Aren't you a little old to have a dad? Last time I saw him, I was a little boy. I was taken away to the Gap. The Gap? Oh, wow. I'd like to escape to the Gap. I'm tired of being told what to do. Do you know the woman with the dog? That's Mrs. Piermont, and she's a pig. That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, she tried to confiscate my console. She gave me a lecture and tried to force me to join the Junior Security Corps. <laughs> Not the gap, so much khaki. <clears throat> I mean, it's uh, it's quite a imposing but stylish jacket. Um, we don't need the kid to sponsor us for the club. Don't wear out your thumbs. It's a plant. The leaves are shiny and waxy. Is there anything else to click on around here? There's an elevator. There's a button. There's plants. Let's talk to the gardener then. Excuse me. Smart floral display. Are they real? What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally. I've just varnished them. Do you paint the flowers, too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. Well, of course, the guy doing the gardening with the hat and the vest, but no shirt, is Australian. Of course. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, clever dick. It filters out the crap in the atmosphere. <laughs> we should clip this legit Aussie accent for Zoe. I mean, maybe she'll show up in a bit. It's about morning time. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modelling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. Although, is it Aussie or is it Kiwi? Let's see if we can get to pronounce Brit. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them. They're pretty. But why can't I touch them? Because if you do, you'll wet your bed. Hmm? I haven't done that for months. Only months. She was up at midnight watching Kathy, but... See you later. Anything new? Anything new? Keep putting these terminals in. Well, let's push the button. Hello. Who is this? It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. See, who needs to lie and say it's the pizza? I put me at night watching Welcome Kathy. Welcome to my humble little home, Robert. You know, I remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. 
You must have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. She starts running Bobby, you should start running. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmut was the designer of Link. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Ray, did you have to get those? <laughs> do, we, do we have to have, right, fine, fine. Two can, two can play at this game. Two can play at this game. <laughs> You're doing nightmare fuel. <laughs> Didn't even buy the sub, it was gifted. I got gifted a sub, so now I'm going to give you all nightmares. <laughs> Unfollowed, blocked, and reported. And for good reason, too. So a horrible blobby with boobs the other day on Twitter. Oh. Um. It wasn't Katie's one, was it? It. Because. <laughs> there's a reason I own those masks. And it's Katie Gray's fault. Um, I even paid her money. <clears throat> anyway, we're, we're playing a video game. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to cope. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually, she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overwrought, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I don't want analgesic. I want answers. Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband's funeral. What a magnificent occasion. I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor Spunky hates cathedrals. All that incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside than up came his breakfast. It's a good thing he didn't chuck in church. Don't interrupt, darling. Well, when I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. Why didn't you want to visit the club? The memory is too painful. Did you go there with the professor? Yes. We met in a club. Oh, he was a handsome young graduate. And I was a flower in my first bloom. He plucked me from the Garden of Innocence. I see what you mean. The memories are painful. Yes. Okay. Are you going to sponsor me now? No, if that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangements. This won't take a moment. Oh, wow, I've just realised what she's wearing. Is that Mr. Coulston? Danielle Piermont here. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. If I pick up the bowl, 
the contents will slop all over my hands. Fine. What can I use to... <clears throat> oh, hang on a minute. Let's put a cat video on. So the dog can get excited about the cat video. If I pick up the bowl, the contents will slop all over my hands. Right, you right, so what what can I pick up? What can I use to scoop up the food? Am I missing? Is there? Like, obviously we have to pick up the food. But with what? I don't know. If I pick up the book all over, it'll slop. It's full of biscuit. Biscuits and dog drool. I might need another item. From here, I don't know. So where else? What other items have there been? Okay, you know what. Well, let's see. Uh, we can get in the club now. And if we can get into the club. Maybe there's something there. Excuse me. Hello, Mr. Loverman. How did you know my name? You're a member now, sir. It's my business to know all our members. Can I go in now? Certainly. But you're in for a disappointment. How come? It looks smart with the lights turned low. But in daylight, it's a flipping toilet. Never mind. I might need another item. Right, what do we got? Gallagher, man, woman. Another woman! A band. A bartender. Oh, well, let's talk to people. Never Not Gallagher, mind. though. Hi. Mind if I join you? Good afternoon to you, Mr. Overman. What do you think of the club? Do we hate the decor and the music? I'm going to say the, the decor, decor is really unpleasant. I chose that myself. I'm Colston, the manager of the club. Pleased to meet you. Don't talk to that guy. He'll smash a watermelon. How do I get out of this city? Can you see I'm busy? I'll take your turn for you. And lose the game for me? You're gonna lose anyhow. Don't be so sure, Gallagher. I've got something up my sleeve. I knew you were cheating. <laughs> well, so are you. And Excuse me. I walk Hi. really weirdly. Mind if I join you? Well, hello yourself. They call me Bob. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> that was like such a rushed line. Uh, also, Gallagher, I don't, uh, I don't think has ever really managed to sort of uh, turn around past the outside of the states. 
I mean, I'm only really aware of him through secondhand references and like Family Guy and Simpsons and other such things. Anyway, Babs. See you Babs later. is not talking to us. Oh, don't count on it. I'm not even sure if that's meant to be an accent, Babs. Excuse me. Can I have a drink, please? No chance. Why not? House rules. What do you mean, house Excuse rules? Excuse me. Do the rules prohibit me from drinking? No, you can drink all you want. But I can't serve you. You are the bartender, right? Well, I'm not the cabaret. How come you can get a drink and I can't? I told you. It's a house rules. Cost and fire me if I gave you a drink. I'm going to complain about you. Please yourself. What are the band called? The Hot Club Quartet. But there's only three of them. Yeah, the saxophonist OD'd last month. That's all. That's actually a reasonable Northern Ireland accent. It's a weird thing where there was more than one Gallagher in arguments over the rights of the Watermelon Act. Wow. But one of them was looking crazy. I, I'm, to be honest, I've got a feeling that both are probably crazy conspiracy guys. Did the saxophonist OD on drugs? No. Too much sax. He got overexcited and ruptured his lungs. He failed at finding bloody boobies. Never mind. Yeah, another one pivoted to danger kiddies. Right. Oh, there's a jukebox. Pressing the buttons doesn't achieve anything. <laughs> yes, too much gratuitous sats. And possibly violence. Hey, guys, play some rock and roll. Oh, there's a door. There's another door. Where's that lead? There's no sign of a lock or a card slot. Cool. Let, let's just try and open it then. Oh, no, no, no opening it. Okay. Failed at finding blobby boobies. Right, right. Yeah, you're going to go back like three years to... Um, see if we... I, I'm sure I can find some... Hang on a minute. Uh, documents, TTRPG, changelings, enchanted ravers, in blob we trust, the blobbies. Alright, let's just have a look, yeah, yeah, there's that one, and then there's, uh, no, that's the character sheet. Uh, no, not that one. Then there's that one, right, okay. You're looking at Katie's cats, is it? I know, I know they're great cats, aren't they? So, um, there's this one, which, uh, let me do boop, boop, uh, properties. Uh, what, what are we, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? We are, let's do boop, 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 boop. Burr. Burr, burr. Burr, burr. Burr, burr. There's that one. Oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no. <clears throat> uh, then there's this thing. This was 
this is actually a soup that somebody found at the crinkly bottom farm and then there's this horrific monstrosity from the mind of katie gray oh it was it was worth it it was all absolutely worth it it was such a fun game <sighs> There you go. Anyway, we're playing computer games. DJ, was it worth the effort? Absolutely. Look, if you're playing a role play game that's based around characters that are, um, that are born of dreams and live in a world of dreams, you're going to throw some nightmares in. <laughs> Sorry, chat. <clears throat> anyway, right, we can't... Right, uh, Colston, that's who we're talking to, the slave trader. Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. No, never mind. Never mind. Oh, there's a glass. Can we just pick up the glass? Hey, get your hands off my drink, Buster. Well, can I have a drink of my own? Oh, nothing. There's Babs. Excuse me. Anything else to say to Babs? Where does the locked door lead to? Oh, that's the wine cellar. Cool, thanks. Ever new to say? Excuse me. Where does the locked door lead to? To the wine cellar. Colston's the only one who can open it. It's programmed to read his fingerprints. Cool, so we chop his hand off. Never mind. Thanks, Babs. Right, so. Ha <laughs> ha. I need to inspect your wine cellar. Forget it, mister. Nobody gets in there but me. Are we playing cards or what? All right. This guy distracted me. I did, didn't I? Can I steal your hey, glass? Get your nah. hands off my drink, Buster. <sighs> right, let's, let's put save. Let's put save him. Yeah, not even gonna. Not even complaining about the bartender. Um, never mind. Right, so we got no one to talk to, a broken jukebox, a band we can't speak to, Babs doesn't care about anything, Barman, the barman won't serve us any drinks. If we're going to do some nonsense with the dog. then we probably need the glass to do the stuff. Right, okay. I've had some thoughts. I've had some thoughts. Oh, hello. Here's, here's a whole area that we haven't seen. The door has an old-fashioned lock on it. Maybe steal the glass for fingerprints? Won't open. That's probably because it's locked. Yeah, but it's got an old-fashioned lock on it, and so I've got an old-fashioned solution to old-fashioned locks. It would be quicker to break the door down. Y yes. I need a key to open that. 
The door is too sturdy to break open with a crowbar. Boo. 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 It's the call button for an apartment. Yes, yeah, press it. Hello. Who is this? Hello. It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. <laughs> right, so... She's still on the phone to someone. Right, the the broad story to keep people up. We are Robert Foster. Um as a child, uh we were pulled out of the wreckage of uh a vehicle that our mother died in. And we, we were brought up in the wastelands of the Gap. Like the wastelands between the mega cities. Uh, and then one day, security came along to the, the people of the Gap and went, oh, we're, we're looking for kids who did, we're gonna, who've grown up and might have come from the city and they basically take us away. And then we crashed again, but in the city. And now we're trying to find our way out. But, as we've discovered, our father, who art in heaven... Ha no, that's a Catholic upbringing for you. Our father was Overman, the person who was... Uh, uh, along with Watts of Chops' husband, responsible for the computer system that runs the city. So, there you go. Ray is full of cold and just enjoying the noises. Fair enough. We're, we're just trying to get out. That's it. We're just normal, normal men. Just innocent men. Um, right. And what we need to do is have a little save. And I think, and we'll come back with this tomorrow. Oh, yes, because we've been here for a couple of hours now. So, uh, it is time to, time to rock on and do, no, that, that's the button I need to press if I'm going to uh, quit to DOS. Um, here for the vibes and the ball gags. Uh, so, have a look. Who's about for the raid then? Uh, wha -ba 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 -da -ba -ba -da. Angels on. We're doing some tiny kin. Uh, Word fangirl. Not sure who Word fangirl is, but they're playing Alien Isolation. Um, they're doing a charity stream. It's, uh, Fuzzy Freaks doing Red Dead. Savko's doing Hollow Knight. Um. Quilly bees on with the Sims, Fallen Games in the Forest Cathedral. We've got some big people there. Shall we go see? Well, if Word Fangirl... Uh, Angel, Angel had the blobby emotes. Oh, God, they're angels, aren't they? Oh, well, suppose we should go in and... Fang her. <laughs> um... Thanks. Well, I was going to say I'm not. I'm not 100 sure who Word Fan Girl is, but I'm following them, which means that presumably that maybe there's been a shout out or something. And I'm like, well, if someone likes them, someone I like likes them, then they must be good. And they're also doing something for charity. So, you know me, I'm a sucker for a charity stream. So let's go see who Word Fan Girl is. Um. What's that? It's not popping up properly. Is that Angel is non problematic? Uh, wait, we're gonna see. Word fan girl, whoever they may be, they are doing they're doing alien isolation, so they're doing the spooky things. 
so if you don't like the spooky things, maybe you don't want to do the raid. Uh, maybe our raid will scare them even more. Who knows? Anyway, thank you very much, Ray, for doing the raid messages. Um, you know, you're just great. Just like so, so fast, so quick. There I was on Discord, trying to, trying to just block the perv, and then all of a sudden, boom, blocked by Ray of Swords. I was like, Fair enough. It's awesome. Anyway, folks. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. You lot are lovely, and you know it. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, a little bit more abduction. I've got ideas. God help us all. And then tomorrow night, 7pm, we'll be back here, and we'll try and see if we can drown the dog. We're not... No, we can't drown the dog. We can't drown the dog. But maybe we can at least get a glass or something. Um, thanks so much for hanging out, folks. You've been... I say you're just it's so lovely it's lovely to spend time with you because you're all so wonderfully lovely even when we're haunting each other with blobby related things not gonna sleep that well tonight all right let's go see word thank you now we'll see you all tomorrow good night goodbye